Mr. Presiding Officer, my dear colleagues, I will deliver uh, a general overview of the 2024 proposed annual budget. For this year, the annual budget For this year, Mr. Presiding Officer, my dear colleagues, the proposed annual budget for 2024 is 437,662,748 pesos. For overview, the budget officer has given the overview of the income revenue sources for 2024, wherein she presented that the local sources there is 77.16 million pesos covering the tax revenues amounting to 52.10 million pesos and non-tax revenues amounting to 25.06 million pesos. For external sources, the budget officer shared that there is a total of 337,252,748 pesos composed of the national tax, tax allotment amounting to 330. 322,252,748 pesos and the subsidy from the local economic sources amounting to 15 million pesos. She said that there is a total expected receipts amount amounting to 414,412,748 pesos for 2024 which which will be then uh, be used to fund the operation of the local government unit of Bangaldan through its proposed annual budget. Again, for overview, uh, For, over, for overview, this is seven million. Inc uh, there is a seven million increase from the 2023 budget, from 430 million 538,735 to that of the 2024 annual budget. This year, we are also creating 25 plantilla possessions, which will be funded under the said 2024 annual budget. There is an estimated proposed budget of 16 million worth for medicines, which is 6 million higher than that of last year's uh, appropriation for medicines. This year, there is a new line item under MOOE, which is the Internationalization Organization for Standardization, or ISO, Certificate and Implementation, amounting to 1.5 million pesos. Mr. Presiding Officer, my dear colleagues, there are also some line items which are new under the MOOE. There are new line items under the MOOE for the proposed 2024 annual budget due to the separation of other items in the 2023 annual budget, such as the Senior Citizens Affairs Fund, PWD's Affairs Fund, PESO programs, and aid to cooperatives development. Ibig sabihin, noon, magkakasama po yung mga yan ng mga previous budget, pero ngayong 2024 budget, pinaghiwa-hiwalay na po ang apat na items na yan. For allocation of funds, the 2023 allocation for the aid to cooperatives development slash PESO programs amounts to 100,000 pesos. However, in the proposed 2024 annual budget, 
the two items have different allocations amounting to 100,000 pesos for the peso programs and 50,000 pesos for the aid to cooperatives development. According to the budget officer, the separation of this line item in the budget is due to the delegation of these tasks under two separate persons. Namely, the Municipal Cooperatives Officer, Dr. Rosalie Holipas, and the Peso Manager Designate, our HRMO, Mrs. Helen Aquino. Another is the Senior Citizens and PWD Affairs Fund, which used to have only one item in the 2024 MOOE and was also separated in the proposed 2024 annual budget, particularly the Senior Citizens Affairs Fund and the PWD's Affairs Fund. For allocation of funds, noong 2023, the allocation for the Senior Citizens and PWD Affairs Fund amounting to 700,000 pesos. Pero, doon po sa ating 2024 annual budget, the two items have different allocations. 600,000 pesos for Senior Citizens Affairs Fund and 100,000 pesos for the PWD's Affairs Fund. Mapapansin din po natin sa ating MOE, sa ating proposed budget, may mga items po doon na walang budget, walang allocation. Ilan po yun? Walo. Under the MOE of the proposed 2024 annual budget of the LGU Mangaldan, there are eight line items without any appropriations, particularly the primary health care, maternal and child health care, self-employment assistance, emergency shelter assistance, election expenses, local drinking water quality monitoring, tuberculosis management program, and the AIDS management program. According to the budget officer, Mrs. Holeta Pitonio, these items have been incorporated already under the Gender and Development Plan for budget, Plan and Budget for 2024. Ibig sabihin, para hindi na po madoble sa MOOE ang ating GAD Plan and Budget na nakasaad din po doon, eh minabuti na lamang po nilang hindi lagyan ng appropriation ang mga nasabing walo na line items. Dahil doon po sa karagdagang 25 plantilla positions, tumaas din po ang ating PS or ang ating personal services uh, allocation. Noong 2023, nasa 134,815,591. Para sa taong 2024 naman, magkakaroon ng 115,088,307. Para sa MOOE, tumaas din po ito. Mula ng 2023, 165,784,112 pesos and 76 centavos. Para sa 2024, ito ay nasa 168,659,384 pesos and 55 centavos. Pero, kung titignan natin yung capital outlay, binabaan po ito ng 500,000. Noong 2023, 11,500,000 11, ang budget for capital outlay. Pero para sa 2024, ito ay 11 million pesos lamang. Tumaas din ang special purposes appropriations. Kabilang dito yung 20% development fund, TRM fund, at yung iba pa. For 2023, 18,238,829 pesos and 24 centavos ang budget. Pero para sa 2024, ito ay nasa 84,668,056 pesos and 46 centavos. Mr. Presiding Officer, our dear colleagues, tinignan din po natin ang budget ng bawat opisina mula 2020 hanggang 2024. This is a five-year financial analysis. Pero hindi ko na po iisa-isahin pa ngayong gabing to. Pero ito po ay minabuti ko pong isama sa aking written committee report. Kung saan makikita natin ang patuloy na pagtaas ng mga budget sa ating opisina. Sabihin natin, sa 2020, ang mayor's office budget ay nasa 45.5 million pesos. 
Pero ngayon, 2024, umabot ng 54 million pesos. Sa sangguni ang bayan, noong 2020, ang budget natin, 31.1 million pesos lang. Pero ngayon, ito ay nasa 33.4 million pesos. Kung titingnan natin yung limang taon na yon, laging number one at number two sa allocation ng budget ang mayor's office at ang sangguni ang bayan. Doon sa ating ginanap na committee hearing, sinabi ng ating budget officer, katumbas ng isang konsihal ang isang department head. Kaya tayo ay laging mataas na yung appropriation sa sangguni ang bayan. Also, Mr. Presiding Officer, sa pag-analisa ng ating financial budget, dapat tignan din natin yung actual expenses. Doon sa proposed expenses at actual expenses. Noong 2020, 2021, at 2022, nakita natin na mas mataas yung proposed budget sa actual expenses. Tignan natin sa 2022. Ang proposed budget sa Mayor's Office nasa 49.4 million pesos. Pero ang actual expense nasa 37.1 million pesos lang. Sa sangguni ang bayan, ang proposed budget ng 2022, 32.6 million. Pero ang totoong nagastos ng SB nasa 27.3 million pesos lang. Tinanong ko po ang ating budget officer kung anong diferensya. Sabi niya, dahil ito ay proposed ordinance, hindi natin nami-meet yung actual na collections ng ating munisipyo. Kaya hindi 100% yung utilization ng pondo at hindi na source talaga yung pondo na kinakailangan para sa LGU. Pero, Mr. Presiding Officer, dahil din sa pag... Uh, para maging cost efficient, we also saw that There have been several items in the MOE that bumaba, no, and we will incorporate that also in our written report. With that, Mr. Presiding Officer, my dear colleagues, I am moving for the passage of this committee report on the 2024 proposed annual budget. It has been moved and seconded that the committee report number one be adopted or then in comments. A chair is in a motion carried. We go to our calendar of business for second reading. We have the ordinance enacting the general fund annual budget and for the operation of the economic enterprises of the municipal government of Bangaltan, Pangasinan. Secretary Officer, my dear colleagues, the 2024 annual budget underwent several or a series of committee hearings. Uh, this is the first time we requested all the departments in the LGU to submit uh, their accomplishment report. Pinasubmit din po natin ang lahat ng department heads ng kanilang mga Uh, bilang ng kanilang empleyado, pinasubmit po natin sila ng kanilang mga nagawa noong nakaraang taon, kung partignan kung sapat po ba yung kanilang pondo for 2024. This is historical dahil first time umaten para magdepensa ng budget ang ating kasalukuyang local chief executive. For, I say first time, Mr. President and Officer, my dear colleagues, because For during my term as a councillor, nobody did that, and they were able to defend their budget, their proposal. We were able to ask clarifications. We even lobbied some of the corrections in the line items in the 2024 proposed budget. The first. Sinabi natin, napansin natin na may isang line item doon sa subsidy na binibigay ng LGU sa mga national government agencies. Particular na po doon sa subsidy para sa municipal trial court. 
during our committee hearing, Mr. Presiding Officer, noong November, sinabi ng staff ng MTC na nag-request sila na dagdagan ng pondo para sa kanilang internet subscription as well as office supplies. Pero, nakita natin sa pamamagitan ng komento ni Attorney Joseph Serra na merong 72,000 pesos honorarium allocated para sa, isa, para sa RTC. Pero hindi naman natatanggap ng mga RTC ang pondong yon. Nang tinanong natin sila, sinabi ng budget officer na nakatanggap sila ng AOM, Audit Observation Memorandum, mula sa Commission on Audit, na dapat tanggalin na yon. Anong ginawa po natin? Sinabi po natin, nakiusap tayo na yung 72,000 ay ilagay sa ibang item na nasa ilalim ng MTC. At kanila po yung ginawa. Sinubukan din po natin mag-lobby, Mr. Presiding Officer, my dear colleagues. Sinubukan natin makiusap kung pwedeng magkaroon ng regular na empleyado ang sangguniang bayan, gaya ng ating napag-usapan. Dahil last year lang, matapos ang ilang taon, nagkaroon ng regular na posisyon sa sangguniang bayan. Ginawa po natin yun. Kahit na hindi po positibo yung kanilang sagot sa ating uh, request, sinubukan po natin na makiusap. And, Mr. Presiding Officer, my dear colleagues, bakit ko po ito sinasabi? Sinasabi ko po ito dahil ginawa po natin ang, at in-exercise po natin ang kapangyarihan ng sangguniang bayan na mag-review ng proposed annual budget ng LGU Maldan. At kasama ko po kayo na nagtanong para sa paglilinaw mula sa LGU natin. That's why, Mr. Presiding Officer, with that manifestation, with all those um, reports that we prepared, I am moving for the passage of the 2024 proposed annual budget on second reading. I so move, Mr. Presiding Officer. It has been moved and seconded that the, that the item A under the fund of business is passed in the second reading. The chair is in a motion carried. Mr. Presiding Officer, my dear colleagues, we welcome questions. No? Usually on second uh, reading, we, uh, our colleagues uh, is uh, privileged to ask questions for some clarification. Since tayo ang sponsor, uh, and since no questions have been raised, Mr. Presiding Officer, I assume that all items in the proposed budget is clear to everyone. So, I am humbled enough to move for the passage of the 2024 proposed annual budget of the local government unit of Mangaldan amounting to uh, amounting to 437,662,748 pesos on third and final reading this afternoon, Mr. Presiding Officer. It has been moved and seconded that the item A under the calendar of business be approved. And the third and final reading, are there any comments, questions? The chair is in questions. No questions? The chair is in motion carried. <laughs> 